So just a quick update here for the basement brewery progress. Uh, it's been a couple weeks. I have not had very much time to work on it, but I've given it some time and uh, I kind of just want to show you guys an update on what's going on. So here, I'll turn this around. First of all, the electrical is in progress right now. Uh, right now I still have one circuit, but I've replaced it with a proper 20 amp GFCI receptacle. Um, I am in the process of working on uh, splicing that out and running it to uh, new uh, regular outlets that'll be protected by the GFCI. Uh, and those are gonna run over here. I've got one box installed on this side. This is gonna be the box that I use for uh, the hood and controlling the system. Um, and it's up high because this is the vent to the outside here, marked out where I'm gonna put the duct. But I'm also, uh, but also this is actually at ground level here. So if I want to, and sometimes I do, if I want to brew outside, I can cut a little hole up here and I can run my system and uh, just plug it right into this outlet right on the side of the wall uh, really quickly and easily. So that's going to be kind of, uh, that just kind of be there so that I have that flexibility. So next, um, I'm going to be running uh, my Romex from my following outlets uh, basically just down to this one come back up alongside this existing stuff here uh, down to a couple spots over here and uh, over here just where those little pieces of wood are and then got all of my uh, equipment here um, got the filming stuff here not much filming going on right now obviously uh, outside of my cell phone here but it's really coming together slowly and surely and then here we have some new stuff so i have this uh stainless steel table that i put together um that is really nice and solid and i think it's going to be a nice addition to things and then here we have the fan the actual hood that i'll be using um this thing's pretty big and uh again it's a thousand cubic feet per minute fan should be enough to suck out all of the steam and odors and everything and that's going to be mounted up on the wall here. I'm going to run some uh, wood to mount it both uh, horizontally and vertically. Uh, I've got the, um, the louver here and the, and the vent for the uh, uh, outside air. And then um, the duct down here. And again, just in case anyone had not watched the other video, I will be opening this window to provide return air so that we don't have uh, any issues. Uh, one big thing that everybody suggested and that I really do appreciate the input on is a humidity meter here. Um, yeah, it's at 52% right now, which is relatively normal. Uh, it has been wet the last couple of days though. Uh, I think the average down here is about 48 to 50, so not too crazy. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where things are at right now. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm excited to kind of get things going. I'm hoping that once these outlets are in, and power is successfully going through them safely and i get this hood set up uh, i can actually start brewing down here now i don't have anything done with the sink yet uh, so i have not tapped into these lines yet uh, i don't plan on doing that for a while i'll be running a garden hose through this window here in order to provide the cooling water um, that i can then just run back up and out through the window to the uh, storm drain because it's just water so that should be fine um, and again, uh, with the hood, I know a lot of people were asking me about why haven't I looked at a steam condenser? Yes, I have looked at a steam condenser. I really would love to have a steam condenser. It's actually probably the uh, optimal uh, option here. But the issue is with the claw hammer system, it doesn't fit it. There are no commercially available steam condensers that fit on the diameter of the claw hammer system. Hey Kyle, maybe, I mean, it would be a good idea to make a steam condenser. Uh, that would probably help. But regardless, this should get the job done. And, uh, you know, that's just kind of the way the, the cookie crumbled there. Uh, I know there is one where you can drill into the actual lid of the claw hammer system. Um, or at least you can fashion some sort of steam condenser that goes straight from the top here. But the issue is it's a flat bottom lid. I don't believe that that's going to really work very well uh, in terms of venting steam and directing it up into the steam condenser column. Plus, I also really have to get the uh, water set up and getting that going. So that's just the reasoning I have right now. Um, but yeah, that's where we're at. Uh, so I'll flip this around. And uh, yeah, we'll just close things out here. Again, um, not much progress being made, so I'm sorry. But uh, this is just uh, a very... 
uh, run of the mill video, very quick, kind of dirty update on what's going on. Uh, so yeah, things are going to continue for the next couple of weeks and eventually we're going to get this thing up and running and you'll see another update video kind of just showing what's going on with that. Um, one other thing to note, I am not putting a floor drain in. I'm not going to jackhammer my foundation. I'm sorry. It's, I don't have that kind of flexibility. It's not going to happen um, as much as I'd love to. Uh, so for now, it's just going to be pumped back into the sewer stack when I eventually do that sink portion. But we'll talk all of that later. Thank you guys for all of your incredible ideas. I really, really did appreciate all of the advice that a lot of people have given me uh, regarding this stuff. And um, it's really spurred a lot of new ideas. So thank you very much for your feedback. And if you continue to have some, please send it forward in the comments section down below. And as always, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, and big thank you to the Patreon supporters who are helping make some of this stuff happen. And I could not be more appreciative. Last and certainly not least, I'm also on Instagram. So if you want to check that stuff out, feel free to. Thank you guys for sticking around to the end and I'll catch you in the next video. So until then, cheers.